Are you looking to save time reading and analyzing documents? Here's how you can get ChatGPT to do that for you. I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT with your PDF using three different demos that demonstrate how you can save a bunch of time. First, I'm going to show you how ChatGPT can make charts and graphs for any PDF with numbers and data in it. Second, I'm going to show you how you can get ChatGPT to summarize any part of your PDF. And third, how you can ask ChatGPT any questions about a PDF and get really useful and accurate answers. Currently, only ChatGPT4 can read PDFs, so right now that means you'll need ChatGPT+. Any ChatGPT4 chat has the ability to read PDFs now, so you don't need any separate plugins. The first step is to upload your PDFs to ChatGPT. Let me show you how simple that is. I've got the PDFs for my demos on my desktop right here. All you have to do is drag them to the screen with your ChatGPT4 chat and it will start uploading. The other option is to click the paperclip right here, which allows you to browse your PC to find the PDF you want to upload. Currently, the maximum file size for uploading PDFs is 25 megabytes, or at least that's what ChatGPT told me. That should be large enough for most files, even full books. Only books with lots of images might be too large for this. You can also upload multiple files to one chat, and then ChatGPT will be able to retrieve data from all files and combine the information if you want. So if your PDF file is over 25 megabytes, you can also split it and upload it in multiple parts. Okay, first demo. Get ChatGPT to make charts or graphs from data in a PDF. The PDF I have uploaded is the latest financial statement by Apple, and I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is, a whole bunch of numbers. Let's try to visualize some of this data, so we can get a clearer picture of what's going on. So I have already prepared a prompt that I'm going to copy and paste, to create a bar chart of sales data by category. And if you need a chart, make sure to be specific. Specify the type of chart you want to see, what data you want to use, how you want to label it, and what colors you want to use. My prompt contains all of that information, so let's see what happens. So at first, ChatGPT will start reading the PDF to gather the information you've asked for, and it will show reading documents. Now it's done reading the PDF and it's showing analyzing. That means it's using Python to analyze the data and to create the chart that I've asked for. So there you go, pretty impressive, right? So this chart gives a really clear picture of which categories are going up or down in sales compared to last year and by how much. So way better than just the numbers. And if you have to do this kind of charting often, this is also a lot faster than doing this manually in Excel. If you want to save this chart as a picture, just ask ChatGPT to generate a downloadable PNG file for you, and it will give you a link to download it. Demo 2. Get ChatGPT to summarize PDF files like entire books. Okay, next demo here. I'm going to upload an entire book. So here it is. Drag and drop again. And while it's uploading, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's an entire book on investing with 334 pages. So that's no problem either. So what I can do now is just ask it to summarize uh, the first chapter of the book. So. So of course, reading a summary will save you a lot of time compared to reading the entire thing. Now for books, there might be summaries online, but ChatGPT can summarize any document for you. Okay, so it started writing the summary. I'm going to speed this part of the video up a bit. So that's the full summary of the first chapter. So if there's anything in the summary that you want to know more about, you can now just ask it any follow-up question on that. So let's try that out. So as you can see, it can just answer any question about the content of this book now. So yeah, really helpful if you want to get information out of a book or any PDF without having to read the entire thing. 
third and last demo get answers to questions about your PDF. So I've already kind of shown you this in the previous demo, but here's another use case that really impressed me and I'll tell you why in a second. So the use case is to upload a manual or any reference work so you can ask questions about it, which is a lot faster than looking it up manually. So I'm going to upload a manual and see if I can get an answer to a very specific question. So here we go, drag and drop again. So this is the manual for the DJI Mini 4 Pro drone. So let me show you that while it uploads. So here it's a pretty big manual, 116 pages, lots of information. And I've got a very specific question that I need an answer to. So let's see if we can do that. So it's done uploading. Now let me type the question, which is wind speed is 45 kilometers per hour right now is it okay to fly my drone so once again it's reading the document and it's got an answer so it has already found the answer but it is in meters per second so now it's automatically doing the next step which is to convert the speed in meters per second to kilometers per hour. And there you go, it's got the speeds converted and apparently you cannot fly this drone in 45 kilometer per hour winds. So yeah, impressive result as the manual didn't have the exact answer, but it somehow understood that it had to convert it and used Python to do so automatically. And it did all of this a lot faster than I could read the manual myself and convert the speeds. So another use case, you can just upload your PDF and ask any question you have. Definitely useful for any reference material like a manual. Oh, and one more thing to note is that the PDFs that you upload will only be retained for three hours. But if you want your PDFs to be available indefinitely, you can create a custom GPT and you can do that here and i'll post a link in the description so this is the custom gpt editor so upload the pdf to here and give this gpt a name like dgi mini 4 pro manual reader for instance and it will have the pdf manual available forever anyway that's all for this video if this was helpful to you please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming ai tutorials like this and if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them below.